All right, hello. This is bright early morning in uh, Fort Wayne, Indiana. We are at Summit City Comic Con. Year two. This is 2011. And you've been here last yeah, year. Yeah, last year was a great show. Uh, Zach puts on a great, great show, I think. Yep. And we'd like to thank Zach for getting us a uh, table and tape this convention. Thank you very much. Yeah, um, we love going around taping the conventions. If you've seen for the last few weeks, we've really been busy on the road. It just seems like we never ends. We're it's everywhere. It's always something new. So please check every week at Underground Video Network. Uh, we've been rolling with, uh, well, us with our... Uh, Getting our our, our uh, mini comic books. Right, and Peanut Me's been working on some stuff. Uh, we got that available here today. I know it's too late for you to come by, but if you see us, Jake is our, our one of our yeah, guys. He our, came over with us. So he he is supposed to reveal because it will be the first time actually it's been uh, at a real convention and aired on. Uh, oh, internet yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, seven sisters so you'll get to hear yeah. more about that hopefully yeah, we'll stop by his table in a little bit see what's going on there yep. I know there's a bunch of other creators here um, N and nobody I we will guarantee you there are new people we've never talked to before I know, I know we went to the website and saw who was going to be here so we're very excited on uh, hopefully we stop by some older people you know the guys from Black Rose comics they're going to be here so hopefully we can touch up them because they put out great comics so oh, cool. um, I think this is going to be a fun show so everybody stand by see what we put together this year. All right, we got to go set up. See you later. But like we're with uh, Underground Video Network. We're here with Dean, and uh, tell us a little bit about yourself and your art. Well, I'm uh, from Michigan, living currently living near the Lansing area. Uh, I've studied art all my life. Robocop is filmed there, by the way. That's right. That's right. We we need, we need the statue. Let's bolster Detroit's uh, prosperity there. Give us the Robocop statue. Um, I'm a big superhero fan. I also love uh, pro wrestling. My webcomic is based on 80s era pro wrestling. You can read that at headlocksandheadaches.com. Um, I'm currently doing currently doing different projects mostly in uh, anthology formats okay. uh, I have several here for sale today I'll also be working on a couple of others as well as another webcomic project that'll be based on uh, time traveling kung fu my mind was talking about all kinds of stuff right <laughs> oh wow but uh, okay uh, on a wrestling note uh, what's one of your favorite wrestlers 80s and 90s and today oh let's see from the 80s well, I grew up with Hulk Hogan, and at one time I was in love with the Ultimate Warrior, but the dude went crazy. The dude went so crazy. Warrior, um, we hope you're better. Yeah, yeah. From the 90s, Stone Cold. He was the biggest badass there was. And today, CM Punk. Nobody better than yeah, Punk. I, I give it to you, but well, only because CM Punk, he's from that uh, school with uh, AJ Styles and uh, Austin Aries and uh, uh, everybody that's a... Uh, wow, 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 wow. Pause it because I gotta think of the name of it. Ring of Honor, no, no, Ring of Honor crew. They went to TNA and all that stuff. Look, watch it, go check that out. Definitely, Ring of uh, Honor is some great stuff. Like, uh, how long have you been drawing as far as your art and stuff like that? Just ever. Um, <laughs> when, yeah, uh, when I was 11, I decided I wanted to be a comic book artist, and here I am, um, 28 years later, still working on it. Awesome. Awesome. Oh yeah, lifelong passion. Can't ever give it up. To the people, please promote your website. Tell them how to get a hold of you. Sure. You can find me at deanandmidget.com. That's D-E-A-N-A-N-D-M-J-I-T.com. You can see my artwork at wookie71.deviantart.com. You can find me on Twitter at dean underscore stall. All right, all this is popping up. Please check them out. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, Underground, we're back with Justin and Ryan. They're going to let us know a little bit about their art craft. So, uh, hello, how are you doing again? Good, All right, not again, first time. <laughs> it's not pre, you know, done or whatever. So tell us about a little bit what you do. Well, we're an online webcomic. We, uh, we update our website three times a week on doubleclick.comics.com. And uh, we've been doing online webcomics for about two years now. This is our second time at Summit City. So, yeah. It's been so are you the writer? Or, or, I'm the writer, or, or, and he's the artist. The artist. All right, uh, how long have you been doing your craft? Um, well, I've been drawing all my life. Um, I started doing comics seriously two years ago when we started Double Clicked. He's 10. <laughs> no, this is yeah. But uh, okay, well, what are some of your artistic influences? Um, I really enjoyed the Sonic the Hedgehog comics growing up. Yeah, and um, I, I, I would list Ryan Clater as another big um, influence. He uh, he actually taught a class that I was in at Michigan State University, and it's what really got me thinking about doing comics seriously. Everybody's from Michigan, RoboCop world, and everything. What's going on? Yeah. <laughs> we love you, Frank Miller. 
<laughs> but uh, uh, let me see, where else I want to go? Uh, as far as like, you got any like musical influence that uh, I know you do? I know you have. I play drums. See, I knew it. <laughs> it's a, but do you sing? Uh, I, not well. <laughs> well, hey, if he's playing drums and you don't sing well, that's half a metal, uh, heavy metal exactly. band already. So it. it can it can work out. Uh, tell the people how to approach you guys, uh, uh, your website, or even your personal art site. Yeah, um, our comics are at doubleclickcomics.com. Um, my personal site is tacketart.com. That's uh, T-A-C-K-E-T-T-A-R-T.com. And you, as a writer? Um, I, I do have a blog that I update for my writing side, and that's available at um, aggressiveanalysis.blogspot.com. That's like an awesome. Say that again. Aggressiveanalysis.blogspot.com. Sweet. All right. Thank you very much. People, check it out. Thank you very much. Thanks. Nice talking to you. Sweet. All right, we're here with creator and president of Action Lab Entertainment, Sean. How you doing? Doing good, Peter. All right, doing? tell us about the stuff you got coming out. All right, this is what we got going on. Action Lab Entertainment been around since October of 2010. Um, right now, our very first book uh, back in the day. Um, it's a signature series book. Um, it's basically a time travel coming of age story. Okay. I like I like to tell people, it's better than Hot Tub Time Machine. It's it's really good. It's really funny. Written by Daniel, written by Dave DeWanch, uh, with artwork by Daniel J. Logan. Really good book. Now we also okay. have we also have a book that's known as Fracture. It will be in comic book stores next month. Um, it's a three issue limited series. It's a superhero dark comedy. Basically, what would happen if an average Joe, a hero, and a villain were all the same person and none of them knew it? That's the uh, premise of Fracture. Um, right now we have the convention version of the book out right now, but it will be in comic book stores next month. Issue 2 is available for pre-order in comic book stores right now as well. I'd like to make a comment to movie writers and producers. That needs to be made into a movie right away. <laughs> Like for real, I, I, Edward Norton. Hey there, I'm even casting it right now. Yeah, yeah you know, we um, you know, we did talk to some studios about Fracture, and you know, but we're still trying to put, you know, to push it. You know, keep fingers crossed. Maybe some something will happen with it, but we're not sure. But we're like, we're all about comic books here at Action Lab, and like right now, we're trying to build our direct market line. We're also going to have a digital line of comics as well. So books that okay. are out in print will be available in digital. Uh, we do have um, so, um, we do have distribution through graphic graphic.ly or graphically, okay. uh, mydigitalcomics.com, drivethroughcomics.com. You'll start to see our books digitally in July. All right, cool. Everybody, check the website out. Yeah, a website, actionlabcomics.com. Right, sweet. Thank you very much. Thank you. Sweet. We're here with Underground Video Network at uh, Summit City Con Comic Convention in Fort Wayne, Ohio. Fort Wayne, Ohio. Check that out. <laughs> See, we're stuck in Ohio that we think everything is Ohio. Fort Wayne, Indiana. See, we actually try to get out. They're vastly different. Oh. They're totally different places. And we are here with artist and writer extraordinaire, Kurt, and he's going to let us know about his craft. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing well. And yourself? Uh, if I can get out of Ohio, I think I'm all right. Hey, well, good. You're out of Ohio. So uh, what would you like to know? Would you like to know my spiel, my story? Uh, that'll, that'll work. Uh, how long you've been uh, drawing and writing comics? All right, well, I, I started, uh, I've been drawing my whole life, but I finally uh, started putting together a comic, a story about, relatively late in my life, about si about six years ago, six or seven years ago. Okay. And uh, I started writing it myself, cause, and I the only thing I could think of to write was something that I knew. So I remember I lived for one year, well, I didn't remember, I lived one year in Indiana. So uh, I took a collection of all the weird stuff that happened to me, the storylines and all the, the people I met, the experiences I had, and I put them into stories that are supposed to be kind of like... Pardon the pun, the eerie Indiana stuff that's happened to you. I know that's bad. No one even knows what that means anymore. But uh, well, yes, that's exactly that's exactly what I did. So I I, um, I put it started collecting the stories. I do one a year, and I bring it out. Then I take the two and I'd, two stories. I put them together, and I've just started to build up a whole bunch. And by this August, I should have a nice, thicker book of new stories. An anthology, of yeah, an anthology of sorts. And I uh, dabble in some other stuff. I've been doing a sort of uh, '70s tri uh, tribute to '70s sci-fi and fantasy stuff. Uh, Richard's all giddy over here. That's right. We were talking about that earlier so uh and you know just uh gotta keep doing the stories till i run out i figure i got another four five maybe because it's going to stop at some point okay okay uh tell the people your websites how to uh 
you know, the, the comic's called One Year in Indiana. My website's uh, pungentbasementart.com. Uh, One Year in Indiana has got a Facebook, and uh, Pungent Basement's got a Twitter. I'm a, I, I, We're adding them, so y'all add them. Everybody add each other. Find all that stuff there, and uh, that's, that's, my, that's my spiel. All right. Well, thank you for your spiel. Thank you. All right. Thank you're you welcome. To my spiel. Awesome. All right, back here with the underground. Uh, we're here with Matt, and he's going to give us an update on his craft. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing great. How are you doing? All right, pretty good. Let us know what's up. All right, well, uh, actually, just last February, I launched a website. It's uh, <laughs> www.cats.com. It's cats with three A's. So it's like cats. <laughs> like, yeah. One A was taken, obviously. So it's an all ages book. Uh, just chronicles the uh, adventures of my two real life cats. Uh, they're kind of crazy, and they fight all the time. And it's just a uh, a uh, fun little thing hopefully everybody can enjoy and uh, so you have a real life itchy and scratchy except both being cats yeah yeah they fight 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 yeah <laughs> awesome but uh, also I have uh, my print book available it's the troll and the giant it's uh, a story which uh, it's kind of a storybook for adults it's about a, an internet troll who goes and sees a, a disappointing superhero film and then kind of wages war against the uh, Hollywood giant responsible for that. That's like all of us that goes to the movies. <laughs> like all of us. <laughs> yeah, we, we've all been let down at some point or another, so. Street Fighter didn't let me down. <laughs> Neither of the movies. <laughs> wow. All right, uh, tell people about your website again. Uh, all right, that's <laughs> www.cats.com. <laughs> all right, Matt, thank you very much. Thanks a lot, man. Sweet. All right, we're here at Underground Video Network at the Summit Comic Convention in Fort Wayne, Indiana, and we're here with Terry. So, oh. Terry, what is your uh, uh, artistic inspiration? Um, money. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait, you're not Terry. Who are you? Um, I'm representing Terry. <laughs> but that would be what Terry would say. Terry, hey, we love you, so uh, let us know what's going on with him right now. Um, he's in Philadelphia right now at a convention. I don't know which one, actually. Um, figure it out. But yeah, he's, he decided he wanted to be in two places at once, so he okay. conjured me up in his imagination. And, uh, he did a good job. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, We were yeah. full. I think uh, he sculpted me very well. And uh, so, so here I am as his avatar, and that's what we're doing. All right, well, Terry, this one's for you, man. Hey, your art is all over our website, so hey, get back with us when you uh, come back from Philly. Later. We are here with uh, Lima, Bainbrook Studios, Illumini, uh, Studio Kumikaze Illumini, everything Illuminati Illumini. <laughs> yeah, I'm a bit of a whore. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Jake, tell us what we have now, 2011. Oh, well, 2011. Wow. Uh, my my book's finally out. Uh, Seven Sisters. Let me get a shot. Um. Wow. We're uh, we're also having uh, Scrap Three come out finally. Uh, I'm inking that, so that's why it's slow. I apologize, fellas. Um, I got plenty of artwork. Come see me at a con. We'll uh, we'll hook you up with some artwork. Commissions are always welcome. Got uh, pinups for days. Um, oh no! Sketch cards. Yeah. Oh we yeah, we do got we sketch got cards. We got we got. Or no. What I got like 80 sketch cards here. Come out, get them off me real cheap. You know. <laughs> All right. So when can we expect Seven Sisters Part Two? Part two. Um, part two is in production. I'm about 15 pages in. Um, it's looking good. We're uh, Julie's. Uh, she's priming up to do our colors on that real soon. So we're gonna get with her and we're gonna see how that works. All right. Tell the people how to get a hold or see any of your art as far as the online internet world. Well, uh, I know you got all kinds of places names. So do it. All of them. Yeah, uh, well, um, I, I normally man my DeviantArt account, which is uh, bainbrookstudios.deviantart.com. Yeah, that's uh, help me out with that, Richard. Uh, <laughs> um, you can find me on Facebook, Jacob Newell. Uh, I, I, you know, I take commissions through Facebook and all that stuff. And hey, just talk to me. I'm lonely. I'm lonely. No, <laughs> but um, edit that part out. Let me see, uh, let me see where else we got. We don't do the MySpace no more, do we? Well, if people are still on MySpace, this is Bainbrook Studios. Uh, There's like three guys. You know, yeah, MySpace my slash Bainbrook Studios. But, uh, well, there's BainbrookStudios.com. It still exists. Yeah, <laughs> so, hey, hey, so. I go there, so if it's getting hits, it's me. So. Um, <laughs> oh, Dad. You did the DeviantArt. Uh, 
Uh, what's the blog one? Blogger. <laughs> blog one. Blogger, WordPress, uh, whatever you want. Go, go to them and uh, add, befriend us, watch the videos. Oh, undergroundvideonetwork.com has a lot of exclusive footage of uh, Jake doing crazy things. Indeed. <laughs> All right, Jake, thank you very much. Later, Sweet. We are here with the cast of Hangover 3. <laughs> no, I'm just, just kidding. Introduce yourselves to the internet world. I'm Kyle Nepper. I'm Zach Galifianakis. <laughs> I'm Bradley Cooper. Hi. <laughs> Tell us more about your craft. Uh, well, we've been self-publishing our own book uh, for our company, Unshaven Comics, for about four years now. Uh, we've just we're selling the second issue for our new series, Disposable Razors, which is an anthology series. Uh, this one's about a it's a superhero smash 'em up story. It's a, a simplest. It's a very enjoyable one shot. Our next one's going to be available in August, but in the meantime, we're here selling this, and it's had an amazing response. Okay, now who's writer artist? Kyle is the writer, okay. uh, Matt is pencils and inks, and then on, for this one I did the cover art and I wrote the story. Awesome, a full on team right here. Uh, uh, let me see, are y'all diverse in your musical influence or are y'all different or are y'all together with the same thing you listen to and stuff like that when it comes to... I'm probably the most eclectic of the three. Okay. I think everyone else has like okay. bands they like, but... Um, there's probably nothing I don't like. Uh, my iPod's got everything from bluegrass. It doesn't have Yanni. Oh, it has Yanni. <sighs> oh, I. Oh, wow. That's okay. Which one? All right, he's a click. Which one was the one you didn't like? Uh, Arcade Fire. Arcade Fire. I don't like Arcade Fire. There you go. I don't think I've ever heard of Arcade Fire, so. Okay. <laughs> You're not missing much. <laughs> All right, uh, tell the people the website to approach you guys. Is Absolutely. Uh, well, you can find us online at www.unshavencomicsonline.com. Uh, we do a uh, twice-a-week podcast. We do comic reviews. We do uh, blogs, and we even have uh, suggestions where we do like an art theme every single month. So, like, we just finished up uh, Marriages in May was last month, where we had different characters sweet and drawn getting married. Like uh, Batman and Storm was one of the first ones we got done, which was very popular. Uh, Fing Fang Foom and uh, the Wasp was another one. It's uh, how does that? <laughs> how does that work? Whatever. That works with a oh. very regretful. Oh well. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Well, I don't got no words anymore for that. I think that just wraps up the the interview. Go to the website, visit the craft. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, uh, we're Underground Video Network, and you are. I'm Courtney Hahn. Okay, how are you doing? I'm good. And I'm Emily Fitch. Hello. Uh, tell us a little bit about your craft. Um, well, most, mostly we try to focus on webcomics. You know, we have our own right here. Sweet Beat. You can read it at sweetbeat.smackjeeves.com. We got all our stuff. Watch out. Because sometimes he does do so much. Ah, uh, no, you're good. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, uh, I've been getting a lot of these, like, um, little, what do you call them? Index card crayon drawings from the little kids, so that's really cool. We only have there's, there's one. Like, there's a one girl right now who wants us to draw Dora and Boots for her, and she's so little, and we're like, we'll draw Dora for you. We love Dora. So sweet. But, yeah, and... I just, I mean, we're just starting out, so okay. this is a great turnout so far because, you know, this is our So this is your, this your first? Yeah, our first con our selling first convention. Stuff. So I'm just very happy, and I hope that, you know, people enjoy Sweet Beat. I mean, we enjoy it, so. Uh, uh, what convention are you planning on trying to go to next? I know you're going to more. I mean. uh, we're going to go to um, IkasaCon next. It's going to be right here in the Grand Wayne Center again. So yeah, it's another anime convention, but then we might also go to this uh, Coco. Yeah. yeah we're okay. About it. We just got invited, I guess. Like, hey, come on down. <laughs> so I just think that would be cool. I'll like add another one that we're going to be at as well. Uh, at Matsuri Con. Oh, of? yeah, we've heard of that. Isn't that in Ohio? Yep, Columbus. Yeah, yeah Columbus. thought so. We just don't have the money for a hotel. That's the uh, crunch. There are people that you can work with, and, and I'll give you contacts or something like that. There, there. All right. But uh, check these guys out at their website, and thank you very much. Thank you. Sweet. Thank you. Yep. All right, uh, sorry, uh, your names again, I'm sorry. Yeah, Brandon. Brandon, Brandon all right, Pete. Brandon. Yeah, Aaron Manier. Aaron Manier. Chris Art. All right, Chris Art. Uh, please tell the Underground Video Network and the internet world about your craft. <laughs> all right, well, uh, we do this comic book called Black Rose. Uh, it's an independently produced uh, fantasy steampunk comic book. Uh, comes out approximately quarterly, whenever we can kind of squeeze it in around our uh, day jobs. Okay, who's the artist, who's the writer, who's the... Uh, I am the artist, and these two guys write it. 
All right, awesome, awesome. Uh, I guess I'm, I'm always into this music thing. Uh, with steampunk, what music do you have that's like going in your head when you're creating this? Because you know, I see, they already know where I'm going. So what, what do you have going on? Uh, I play a lot of uh, either movie or video game soundtracks. Um, that kind of sets the tone depending on what's similar. And uh, But, you know, sometimes rock and metal and all that stuff too. But Same. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah, you're a big Nine Inch Nails fan too. So. Yeah, I am. Nine Inch Nails. <laughs> Love Trent. Yeah, he's a genius. <laughs> but. All right, uh, you guys, uh, let me see what else I'm going to go for. Uh, who's one of your most influential, uh, you can name one or two, uh, famous artists or writer or artist type uh, that gets you doing your craft? Uh, Bill Sienkiewicz, Ashley Wood, George Zaffano, and a long list of others. But anybody that... I love that you think of it. I can pronounce that for shit. <laughs> yeah, Sin... Yeah, Sin... Yeah, Sienkiewicz. <laughs> yeah, Sienkiewicz. <laughs> right. <laughs> yep. you? Yeah. Uh, mine are all authors, obviously. Okay. Uh, Tolkien, George Orwell, um, who's the guy? Ender's Game guy. Orson oh. Scott Card. Yeah, yeah. Those are mine. You read his Iron Man stuff when he was doing all that? When I, or is this guy card? He was doing an Iron, Ultimate Iron Man, I believe. Okay, check that out because I'm wrong or something like that. He was. I know he was. He, I'm pretty sure he was. And you? Uh, I'm a big fan of uh, Jeff Smith, uh, who does Bone, and uh, and Bill Watterson, uh, Calvin and Hobbes, uh, both just really great, you know, writer artist combos. All right, uh, pimp out your website to people to go check out your stuff. Absolutely, blackrosecomic.com, uh, and you can get all the info about uh, the project. You can buy our issues and prints online, and you can join our uh, Facebook fan page. So check it out, blackrosecomic.com. All right, thank you very much. Absolutely. Sweet. All right, we're here at Underground Video Network. We're here with Sterling Clark, and he's going to tell us a little bit about his craft and his art. How you doing, sir? Not bad. How are you? I'm right, pretty good. Um, tell us what made you get into the game of uh, being into comics. Well, I've always liked comic books. I read them when I was a kid. And I guess somewhere right, right around the, uh, the 80s, when there was a big major boom in, in independence, that I kind of got the urge to create my own characters. And, and then in the early 90s, when comic books became a little bit more... Um, accessible in the independent market then you, I, I try to go ahead and, and get one of my characters published with a company called Ripoff Press and that was my renegade character right there. All right, uh, who's one of your like artistic or comic influence like even today right now that just keeps you going or even you know getting in the game of penciling and, and drawing and whatnot? Okay. It is with the knowledge. <laughs> okay my as far as artists that I really admire, um, back from, from the Silver Age, it would definitely have to be Jack Kirby, uh, Gil Kane, uh, John Romita Sr., and, and the Basima brothers, um, John Basima and Sal Basima. Now, as far as guys today, I think one of my favorites right now, um, other than Ron Friends, would have to be John Romita Jr., because he's just had some some of the best storytelling in the business. A lot of people, a lot of people, you know, criticize me because his work is kind of choppy and it's blocky looking. But the the thing of it is, a man knows how to tell stories so well that once you get into his his books and his, and the and the way he puts stories together, you can't help but to like it. It just he's just that. I agree with that. I do. He's just great at what he does. And the thing, the nice thing about it is, I know the man. <laughs> So see, you're getting a shameless plug. You better be watching this. <laughs> uh, tell the people how to get a hold of uh, getting prints from you, looking at your art, or even you know online and whatnot. Well, you can you can get my prints and books um, at the various shows that I do. Um, I try to make as many of the shows on the East Coast and in the Midwest as I can since I live in Indiana. Um, you can go online or go to my website, www.studiowestproductions.com, and you can see the website, some of the illustrations I've done in the past for like Image Comics and for the newspaper strip that I did in Fort Wayne called Inc. of my character called Inton Bendy. You can go there and see some of the strips that I did and order some things there as well. All right, shoot, awesome. Thank you very, very much. Gina, thank you, buddy. All right, you're welcome. Uh, we're here with Underground Video Network. We are here with Scott Story, and he's going to tell us a little bit about his uh, graphic novel. I've got a graphic novel here. Um, 
and issues, I, I continue on with issues six through nine, I was also here. Okay. Um, the graphic novel is the first five issues of Johnny Saturn. Okay. And Johnny Saturn is an old mystery man who's at the end of his career. Um, he's, his back is given out, his knees have given out, he's addicted to painkillers. Um, kind of like he'd been in football. <laughs> okay, all right. And, um, but he's still got to catch the bad guy. And things go really wildly wrong for everybody from there. So, uh, when is this going to be made into a movie? Oh, I, sooner than later. Arthur, awesome. Uh, just humor me. If this was to be cast into a movie, who would you have play as John? Uh, Bruce Willis as uh, Johnny Saturn. Yeah. Bruce, come on, you're doing everything. You did surrogates and... That was okay. Uh, I'm just going to be honest. It was all right. I didn't even know it was based off the comic, to tell you the truth. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, and the villain, um, oh, gosh, the guy from the Avengers. Um, <laughs> okay, uh, tell us, uh, you got a website for people to get a hold of? Uh? I do. Uh, it's uh, johnnysaturn, all one word, dot com. And we run the comic there, um, blogs. I put up sketch work. And we update Mondays and Thursdays. All right, very cool. People, check it out. Uh, All right, thank you very much. Nice to meet you. Sweet, you too. All right, Vic, man, let us know what's going on. What's, what's the update? What's happening? What's happening? It's your boy, Victor Dandridge, VIP, Vantage In-House Productions. I'm over here at Summit City holding it down with my man, Ren McKenzie. Holding it down. Ah. <laughs> I guess that's the new DMX, baby. Exactly. Huh? Just, ah. Is that what you said? Ah. Ah. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. So, okay, as always, I got my 8 bits with me. Um, you know, Thor just came out, so I'm rocking the, the, the Warriors 3 here. I got some Loki. I got some fun stuff jumping off. But some of the biggest things that I have to talk about is the VIP 15. There are 15 projects that Vantage In House Production is producing this year. Like, I'm trying to come in super big, major, major, all the way. First one is the uh, I'm sorry, the Samaritan. This man here has has blown minds with his work on the Samaritan. If I if I can get you to see just a wee bit of the love that he's putting on to these pages, he's taking my words and he's giving some life, life to these things. He's he's phenomenal, phenomenal. I mean, like I I can't say enough because he's he's right there, and I don't want to give him any sort of you know appreciation because I don't like you. I don't like you. You suck. But I don't like <laughs> another. Um, project in the works if I can push the button I can't push it I'm sorry I don't have that good hand I don't have that good hand there we go there, there we go, go. there all right here we go was you know I got eight minutes this is a prose story um, takes place where uh, the Sun blows up and there's approximately eight minutes between the time frame when it blows up and when the destructive energy reaches earth so it's a series of short story vignettes you know it's all prose um, written by me it's gonna be 15 different stories there I am gonna open it up at some point to offer some other authors to kind of take a stab at the you know eight minute world I really want to expand that I really want to play with it um, so you're giving them eight minutes to do what they really need to do eight That's minutes you okay. get to you get to play you get to play this right here is a new piece the trouble with love um, I'm doing this with uh, Harold Edge, who's uh, from Dyna Girl fame, you know what I'm saying? He, okay. He's, whoo, buddy, he's killing it. And I got my colorist, Ryan Carter, he's doing some great, great things on here. This right here is just a promo piece that I put together for the show today. Um, this isn't even like the actual cover, but it, I liked it so much. I just had to go with it. Okay. But, you know, my, uh, my favorite aspect of the whole thing is the theme, you know, where, you know, this guy here says the trouble with love is you can't punch it in the face. Like that like that lets you know what we're talking about. You know, that's just letting you know what, what things are, how it's going down. It's gonna be amazing. So yeah, that's like just three of the fifteen projects that I have coming out this year. Wow. So I'm trying to Hey, now you gotta pimp the website out. Let people know. Come on, here we go. We can see it right here. Vantage in house you know 3D. dot blogspot dot com goodness right here. You can see everything in the world that I'm doing. I'm a busy guy. I stay in the house. You got a new deviant art as well, right? Um yeah if you go to Vantage inhouse.deviantart.com that's me that's me all day every day and um, anytime that I do something or, or somebody produces some stuff for Vantage In House it's going up there so you know check us out right. well it's time go to it now all right underground video network we're here with Michael he's gonna tell us a little bit about his craft how you doing Mike yeah hi good we're still at Summer City. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, well, this is my webcomic, Oceanverse. It's a, a underwater adventure strip. Um, 
kind of harkening back to the comic strips in the 1940s, Terry and the Pirates and uh, Steve Canyon, stuff like that. And uh, whenever I have enough for a single issue, I collect it. So um, I have one through five here today. And then I also have um, uh, kind of a companion, the funny book Fish. It's uh, superheroes as fish, um, just kind of keeping with the underwater theme. And that's going, going over pretty well today. And then I have uh, these paper models of the red herring. That's a submarine in Oceanverse. It's what they fly around uh, in the sea. And um, yeah, just make sure you have both pages and you can put together a paper sub like that too. You hold up one of those. Yeah, he's doing all kinds of art here, people. Oh, yeah. It's just my spare time, I'm doing, doing some sketch cards, just working on the Fantastic Four. I think I, you've got everything diverse pretty much. There you go. I love that one. It's a complete set, yeah. Invisible Woman. <laughs> All right, uh, can you tell people the, your art, or art site? Uh, any uh, Facebook art sites to get a hold of? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, Oceanverse.com is the, um, the, the, the place to find my stuff. Also, Twitter. Uh, I think it's just Oceanverse. And um, yeah, that's, that's how you can find me. All right, everybody, please check them out. All right. Sweet. Thanks. All right, we're here at Underground. We're still at uh, Summit City, and we're here with Katie Cook. How are you doing? I'm doing great today. How are you? I'm pretty good. Tell us about your craft. Um, well, I, I got mostly known for doing Star Wars stuff. I do sketch cards. I do uh, comic books online for StarWars.com. And just in general, making fun of the Star Wars genre in a nice, polite way. That's what we're supposed to do. <laughs> um, but right now, I also write and draw for the Fraggle Rock comic book. I'm doing a page for the Jim Henson Storyteller book. And I'm doing a bunch of freelance work for Jim Henson. So. It's awesome, sweet. Uh, how long does it take? Well, okay, what are these we're looking at right now that you have at the table? Um, at shows, I tend to just do cute little quick sketches. They're little watercolor paintings, and they're just kind of fun. It's, you know, I used to work in the stationery and greeting card industry, so it's it's a throwback. I'm keeping it old school. Okay, okay, that's cool. So you know, you're mixing the, the the indie with the mainstream kind of deal and stuff. Okay, okay. Um, do you have a uh, like online comic as well? Okay. Um, I have a web comic called Gronk a Monster's Tale. It's at gronkcomic.com. Yeah, your art's very diverse. You have like the online. Not to say it's a cliche, but you have the online comic feel, and then like the Star Wars, you know, yep. it's like more of a uh, traditional, I guess, comic book. Yeah, it's person. you know, it's you know, there. I work on mainstream licenses, but I also have my own creator own work, and I, I kind of like it that way because it gives me an outlet that's just mine, and you know, it gives me an excuse to draw for myself once a week. Lucas is hearing you right now. Don't tell him anything. <laughs> tell everybody uh, your website. Uh, my website is katiecandraw.com, and the uh, webcomic is gronkcomic.com. Do you have online tutorials, I think? Um, I kind of don't, I think. You should. My work is pretty self-explanatory. It's uh, I use uh, one of these and a computer. This is the first tutorial. <laughs> there you go, this is it. Buy a, buy a Micron 01, and that's it. That's all you need. Well, thank you very much, Katie. Thank you. Sweet. Hey, it is uh It's getting yeah, late in the day. Yes, uh, Summit City has been a blast. Uh, it's coming to a close. You guys need to come to it. We tell you to come to these conventions all the time. This is every convention that we go to, you need to come to. Because supporting conventions, the, the more the merrier, the more uh, support for your local and mainstream artists is. And uh, the more you get to meet them, you know, in person and watch their craft, what they do, you know. This might have been my word of the day, craft. But it's like craft. Is that a, yeah, yeah, what's your craft? I but, don't know, yeah. No, we saw a lot of creators here. Uh, we got interviews. Some people we knew, some people, brand new brand people. Brand new people. A couple new people's never been to the show before or even a comic show. So that was really cool. Please check out their websites because it helps them to grow. Uh, like I said, we've helped other people get, uh, they went on to brighter and better things and jobs and stuff like that. So uh, also we thank you, the viewers, for watching all uh, these couple of years here. We're getting ready to celebrate like technically it'll be 20 years of the show itself and then this show has been 10 so it's been a while but it's a long road um, we're starting to set up its shows we're at our booth here at um, Summit City and um, if you didn't stop by we have mini comics so if you see where we're going to be at a convention please stop by pick up mini comics we got some other stuff going on um, that's all I need to say yep. uh, the summer the convention tour continues uh, see you at the next con uh, the credits are rolling okay see you later later
Victor's been known to steal. He's got this little, uh, I don't know, not a really a fetish, but kind of a kleptomaniac kind of thing where he takes other people's erasers. So what I'm going to do is Jake is unknowing to know what's going on. I'm going to hand him this eraser because you totally took it. I have this here eraser. <laughs> I got your eraser. You've been erased. Uh oh, I think he's coming back for it. Oh, look, look, no. Nope. It's he done. It's out. done. He don't want none of this. He don't want to come down here. Look, look. He don't want to come down here. Hey, that Ray Jacob. No, you don't want look, to come down. I'm trying to wait to see if he look for it. He ain't looking for it. He don't know. He don't know. It's like a magic trick. Wow. All right, watch this. Watch this. Hey, Jake. That looked like the most inappropriate hand motion I have ever seen. That is inappropriate. <laughs> inappropriate. Pino, it's why? Are you I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. You guys are confusing the hell out of me. Ah, it's so All nasty. Right. It's going? so nasty. Look, like he ain't looking. He don't got nothing. He don't know. He don't know. Can you name me those? Uh, okay. Look, look. Yeah. Oh, but now I didn't look. There we go. Look, he's coming up now. Oh. I didn't take uh, it though. I didn't take it. It was the other black dude. It was the other black dude. It was. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. It was the other black dude. It was. It was the other. It was the other black dude. It wasn't even me. He brought it to me. And it was like. Hey. I think Chad has something to do with this. When you right absolutely there. hate everything. Yes. Yes. <laughs> All right. Get back to work. <laughs>